Something shiny, I don't know. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm fishing and camping with my dad and Uncle Ken. This morning, we caught some taco as fresh bait, and now we're gonna throw out our ulo poles and slat them down. We'll be fishing the entire day, the entire night, and the entire next day. The target species we're trying to catch is the rare prized Kagami ulo. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and watch the entire video for an exciting ending. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video. is all the taco me and my dad caught this morning we caught three each that Alrighty, catching some live bait. Caught a Christmas rasp already. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's the smallest pole fault I've ever seen. Another tiny pole ball creature. I caught a big pole paw. Oh, got the bait back, everything. We on. Slide this bugger. Holy shoot. Hunga. See you later. Kinda lay out, but this is an okay size one. Oh my god, I'm on my light! I got it! Come on, stop! Nice job, nice job. Hold <laughs> on, my height. Oh, I thought it was bigger though. Yeah, I thought it was at least like a small lure. I thought maybe yeah. Well, the one. bell was like going. Yeah. Have one of those fish I take one quick photo later. Okay. It's funny. It's Alright. The foot up uh going down. On the reef. Oh, guys, 30 seconds out here. 
the beach is like, this is like five yards from the beach. No way, it's all camouflage like that. You're just on the reef like this. Good, you get to hold the bag now. <laughs> Whoever's the last person to catch it gets to hold the bag. <laughs> Look how shallow. Back hole. Yeah, there's a back hole right here. Coming out this side. Alright, let's do one slider. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Walking to you. Oh, it's sprayed water. We got him. He's <laughs> taking the run of it. All right, let's get that. Oh, one. look how close it is from shore. The shore's right there. It's... <laughs> oh, nope. Nice run. Second biggest run out. Four. <laughs> yeah. She just went there. <laughs> oh, nice one. Perfect. And stay two more nights, I think. <laughs> Uncle Ken, you can come. Oh, you got ink all over you, man. Yeah. You gotta convince Uncle Ken. <laughs> <laughs> He'll stay with you. Oh, nice kind too, huh? Oh, got some bait now. Uncle Ken! Come on. Really? The turtle. Turtle! Turtle! Ah. Oh! Pin down. Pin down. Nah, that's not a turtle. No way, right? You know it's a fish? You sure? It looked like one fish. <laughs> and it kept ringing. Why? <laughs> oh, Milu. Oh, oh Milu. Milu. Oh. Come on, let's come on. Hey! Yes, uh. That's a nice one. Yeah. All right, bring it to get back. Hmm. Nice. Something shiny, I don't know. It's going over the line. Lift this, lift this. What? Lift this. This one. Come on this side. 
I didn't even gaff him. Yeah, that, <laughs> that triple slide going. Wait, we took a look. No, oh, it's the second slide. See? All right. Oh, I didn't even gaff the fish. Save the meat. Uh, oh, the slide. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, right at the top. 13 to 15, eh? Oh, oh, the other. Oh, oh, that's big. Oh, that's, oh, that's big. That's big. We're here for two, one night. Oh, we stayed. <laughs> this one pulled hard. What the heck? Yeah. Scream. Bro, I tried to tighten the drag. It was like tight already. Oh, it bit the third slide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just slid a third one for fun. Had bait the whole time. No way. That is nuts. Oh, it bit the full taco. Yeah. I thought it was over. We waited the whole oh, trip. Oh, at the very end. Like the very end, packing up already. Yep. Yeah. Every time we go fishing, we always try to keep the lure poles out for as long as we can. So when it's time to pack up, we'll pack up the tent, we'll clean up all the trash, and reel in all our smaller poles. In this trip, the Kagami and the Milu both bit while we were packing up. We were already taking trips back and forth to the truck. At the end of the day, we were so happy with our catch, we just wanted to get out of there and go home. So we started packing up quickly. When we finally cleaned up everything, there was only one pole left. We cleaned up the gaff, we took back all the cameras, and all the other little poles and everyone was at the truck in the parking lot. So I walked over to my pole, I took off the bell, I tried to unstuck the lead, but it was super stuck. So I wrapped the line around my arm, and I pulled it back, and I got the lead out for a second, and it was stuck again. I was like, oh, okay. I wrapped the line around my arm again, and I'm pulling, pulling, walking it back, and all of a sudden, it 
starts pulling back. And I'm like, what the heck? I undo the line around my arm and I pull up and then instantly far out there, I see this shiny thing at the surface. And for a split second, I was like, is that an eagle ray or something? Like upside down eagle ray? Like what is that? But it was way too shiny to be an eagle ray. So I start boosting it and I'm like, nah, that's a fish. So I start yelling to everyone back in the parking lot, come back down. The parking lot's like hundred something yards away. And they're all coming down with the gaff and everything. Fish on, fish on. Too bad I didn't have any cameras on because it was already packed up in the truck. And I was boosting this thing, boosting this thing. And it was just riding, coming in. Beautiful fish. It was a pretty good fight. The fight was around five minutes. The Kagami was straight down, rolling in the wave, the wave brushing up against the rock. And my dad puts down the slide gaff and he was trying to gaff it. But we had three slides, just slid a third one for fun. We had so much bait and all the bait was still there. Usually the bait is all eaten up by the end of the day, but all three baits were still there. The gaff had a hard time going over all the baits to reach the fish. So it was stuck up in the line and combined with the fish flopping around, the gaff got all tangled around the line. This was one of my first times ever using 60 pound tests. I had my Torium 40 60 pound test and I had a tangled gaff around a 35 pound Kagami Ula. We said the only way is to lift it. So we were lifting the gaff that was not penetrated through the fish. It was just wrapped around hooks, wire and line. So we were just hoping it didn't cut. And finally, when it got close to the ledge, Uncle Ken grabbed the wire runner and brought it up. And I'm gonna show you guys how frayed that line was. Here is the exact rig that caught the 35 pound Kagami. We got our 16-0 Mustad hook with our wire. Here is the runner, but more importantly, here is the 60 pound test. I don't know how much weight this thing could hold, but just a little too much. And that Kagami would have just fell back right into the water. The moral of the story is keep your little poles out there for as long as you can and stay hopeful to the very end. Because if I had got to that pole five seconds earlier, I don't know if I would have got that fish of a lifetime. Guys, we're packing up. I packed up my GoPro and everything. This is unbelievable. Look at this, 60 pounds. Okay, get up, but it's still too heavy. How do I take it? Okay, another photo opportunity here, guys. Nice <laughs> I was I had my hand wrapped around the pole, breaking it. I was going backwards, I was like, oh, whoa. Yeah. Almost fell in And then I undid it, and I saw the shot, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> too bad I didn't have the GoPro on. Yeah. Oh. Good thing I took forever to pack up. <laughs> yep, put the oh, gold. So no. Nah. That's right. I, I mean, right, can I help? As long as above 30. 34. That's 34. Above 30. Yeah, I that's my guess. 34. I got 34. Wow! 35. 35. 35. Oh! <laughs> Alright, guys, this is the 35 pound Kagami. And I'm gonna attempt to fish print it. I got some 
big fish print paper my friend Micah gave me. This is a, the biggest fish I ever tried to print. First attempt. All right, we are done with the double Kagami Kintaku. Here it is. Barely added any color. Just kind of went simple. I bought this silver paint. Dang, not really that silver, but kind of. I kind of added faint stripes here because the small Kagamis usually have that. All I did was add like a little, just light blue at the top. And that's pretty much it. I didn't want to go too complex and mess it up. <laughs> so yeah, I think it came out pretty good. 35 pound Gami. Got this new knife I'm gonna try out. Hope I don't cut my finger off. The thing about this knife is you push, it cuts, and then you pull, it also cuts. Oh my god, that's After filleting the fish, I cut it up into portions and gave it away to family and friends. We cooked some ourselves and made amazing sashimi. This is definitely the most special and prized fish I caught to date. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mahalo.